Alright, I think it's time to embarrass myself a little. So this is going to be things in video games that scared me when I was younger, and I'm going to be delving into them and kind of explaining why, and you know, maybe seeing how they could still be creepy today, and this is specifically going to be on video games. While I'm here, I'll say that I'll scare people inside character costumes, because I mean, I mean, can you blame me? I mean, fucking look at Peppa, she's going to take my soul. But anyway, let's just go over what used to scare me in video games and I'll kind of try and explain it. So, first of all, the blue spider from Mario Sunshine. So, this fucker here is known as Skeeter and it scared the shit out of me as a kid. I mean, I still don't like spiders. I mean, if you heard of the spider, it gives you a fucking painful erection and then kills you. So, Mario Sunshine, a vibrant game. So, imagine me like, you know, flying around the first level, enjoying myself, and I decide to visit the lake. And we see this bug eyed blue prick flying around the water. And I mean, for some reason at a young age I thought this spider would come to the TV and fucking kill my family. But now, I mean, I guess it's okay, I mean, it's still creepy looking, but, you know, you can ground pound it and go fucking flying in the air. Alright, so next up's gonna be what happened up down from Pokemon Fire Red. I mean, specifically this is the version I'm gonna be talking about, so... The reason I was scared of this in the first place was thanks to a creepy pasta, which is known as Pokemon Creepy Black. And even back in the day I made a really shitty video on Windows Movie Maker talking about the ghost story. And at the time I actually thought it was true that like, creepypastas were real, which I don't understand my thinking of that, but whatever. So recently I did play Pokemon Fire Red for the first time and I can kind of understand why this place was creepy. I mean, when I was younger I was told that if you listened to the music, you would die. And I mean, I can totally see why this place got a fucking ghost story based on it because just walking about this place, it feels off compared to the rest of the game. I mean, it's probably something to do with the power of people that are grieving over dead fucking Pokemon. Do you like Pikachu? Nah, I died. Seriously, look at some of the stuff people are saying here. Ghosts have appeared. I think Team Rocket killed Pokemon. This time there's a gravesite of Pokemon. And then this random girl just asks why my Growlithe died. But I mean, at least this place has severe mood whiplash when you go into the name raider's house. Alright, so next up is going to be our first uh, M rated game or fucking whatever it's rated. So, Metal Gear Solid 2, this happens towards the end of the game and it happens in Arsenal Gear. So, the first time I played this game, this would be like the first time I've ever seen a fourth wall break in a video game. So, so at this point in the game, due to a virus that kind of went awry and didn't work properly, the colonel who's been calling you throughout the whole game turns out to be an AI and due to a virus, he's become corrupt and he just starts going haywire. So, as you run around. You get this weird kernel describing shit like, for example, it just starts telling you about a VR mission from the first Metal Gear Solid game. Rescue Meryl, the return of Genola. He then describes the mission objective from the first Metal Gear game. Infiltrate the enemy fortress, outer heaven. Destroy the final weapon. Metal Gear. And then he puts a girl on the corner of the screen doing... something. Oh, hey, at least Snake comes to come riding down. Run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. What the fuck? Oh, and also the corner there's his face, and it wasn't very welcomed. Alright, so on this one I'll just fire all my Sonic ones together quite quickly because, you know, it was a franchise to play the most I could and it feels kind of right to just, you know, brand them all together, so... First of all, I started Sonic Adventure 2, the first Sonic game I played, and in the level death chamber, there was this creepy ghost that... Where is it? Okay, Jesus fuck. I mean, look at his fucking face. And then once you hit it, you get a big version of the ghost with its creepy fucked off teeth. I mean, after that, you know, it becomes a little one, but whatever. But, you know, I can be thankful that I didn't watch Sonic X on JX that much when I was younger, because the anime actually made this ghost thing worse. It's been such a long day. <sighs> Well, hello there. Ah! <laughs> Stop interfering with my plans or you'll never leave this castle! Amy! Alright, so finally, just one year later, my heart sank playing Sonic and the Black Knight around the time it came out. Now, why, you might ask? I thought Sonic would die in that game. Why? I, I don't know, I just for some reason thought it would die and I was scared to finish the game. Alright, next up is Enderman and Minecraft and... Minecraft is a creepy game, I don't care what people say, just the fact that you could be walking about and get fucking jump scared by a spider out of nowhere and all that shit. But the thing that made it worse, and the thing that was scared it for fucking many years, even in my teenage years, was Enderman. I mean, the developers decided that, you know, they based this character on a creepypasta about OH SHIT IT'S A WHITE GUY! And the devs thought this creepypasta was a perfect thing to make a mob of. I mean, seriously, look at this fucking thing, it's height, the wonky way it walks around, the fact that if you make accidental eye contact, it probably means you're fucked. I mean, seriously, even here I have the best equipment in the game, 
and I still have a chance to kill it. But this fucking face when it's chasing you and the fact that it could just teleport anywhere including inside your house. I mean, I'm sure my fear is justified and also mods just made them look worse. Alright, so next up is the Desert of Canaan from Rayman 3, which is an area that's understandably creepy. I mean, right off the bat you have to move around the lava and go inside the skull. And, I mean, after that it seems like a normal level and, you know, it's fine until the, your allies on the retainers decide to pop in for a warning. Use the tunnels, but it won't be easy. The tunnels are swarming with canary, and those beasts are invincible! Yeah, well, you got a better idea? You bet your bet I'm dollar I do! Okay, listen closely, Big Nose. Do not let the canary get near you. You understand? Never! If they get their claws on you, you're dead. Well, it was a nice knowing ya! Yeah, the promise soon were fucked. So, wait a minute, wait, we fall through our pet, and then Gobots gets kidnapped by Wylam. So that's fun, so now you have to pretty much make your sword your way around, not getting caught, and the whole time they're fucking mumbling about like stabbing your eyes out or some shit. Stick bamboo under his nails, crush his bones. Oh, uh, no, and also this area has ghosts, I mean, you know, fuck me I guess. Finally, we're going to talk about the smart kids and Tony Hawk's underground, so this one isn't really scary anymore, I mean, you know, so back when I played this game, this was one of the real error missions in the game, and you know, the context is that the local smart kids have decided to steal all the decks from the local skate shop and even though your friend warned them that they're fried, I mean, I've seen Breaking Bad so I kind of know that. No no, 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 no. So after this, you know, whole discussion, you have to sneak into the dealer's house where, you know, they just kind of roam around. And when I was younger I thought it was a creepy not hit by the music, but I mean, that was funny. I mean, they don't even fucking move when they look at you. Oh, and after this whole event, Eric decides to set their car on fire, and yeah, that's kind of the end. So it was a bit of a short one, but this is all the moments in video games when I was younger I can remember that scared me. And I hope you've enjoyed this kind of different kind of content. I know it's quite short, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this new content anyway. I kind of repeat myself a bit. So I will see you in the next video whenever that fucking comes out.